Hello guys and welcome to the next part of the Digimon World 2003 playthrough and it's me Fabzy and we are going to carry on as always where we left off from our last video but before we do look who's down here yeah it's bitch boy Keith it's bitch boy Keith hey kid we meet again but my Digimon's in training so let's battle next time yeah because he doesn't want none of this ass whooping obviously um um, I was, it's funny because I've been recording it quite consistently, right? I've been recording like each night, but for some reason I kind of forget what we did the the day before. I think what we what did we do? I think we was on our way back, and then me stupidly remembered or forgot more like that we actually missed an auction. So I went back and we actually got the item at the auction, and uh, I think we saved it from there. Um, also, from what I remember when I said that, you know, there was going to be new Digimon in this area. Well, luckily Flymon's here, right on cue to show you guys what I mean. Um, yeah, and now it's just going to be, now we just kind of have to go all the way back to the, um, the south, I think. Wherever it is, wherever Suzaku leader is, whatever. Um, and we actually need to look for the Digi Egg of... Sincerity, I believe. Um, basically, we need to find a way to summon Submarimon. Who, uh, if anyone watched uh, Digimon anime, he's from Adventure 02, I believe. Uh, so basically, the second season. And he's actually an armor digivolution of Armadillomon. And he turns into kind of like, kind of like a. Imagine like a one person submarine bolt with a sort of drill horn kind of thing it's pretty cool to be honest but he's gonna give us access to kind of underwater travel so i guess it's this game's version of fast travel if you will so it's not you know it's not gonna like instantaneously teleport you somewhere but it's just gonna give you a more of a, it's a quicker method to get from one section to another and in some cases it's the only method to get from one section to another so um, the only way to access the west sector is um, is via um, oh Kukutama is this the first time we're facing Kukutama? I feel like it is but yeah it's gonna be the first time um, no sorry it's gonna be the only way that we can actually get to that sector so um, it's also gonna give us access to a really special place called the Jewel Kingdom and as you can tell from the name it's uh, <laughs> it's gonna be very you know obviously a lot of cards It's gonna be orientated based on cards and as you guys know me um, I love my card battle in this game I don't know it's, it's not that it's like it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh! it's not um, funny enough right, right at this moment uh, Wolfie my boy he's streaming Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses uh, by the way, if you guys are interested in that, I'll link his streams in the description. By the time this comes out, though, he might be finished the stream, so I'm not too sure exactly how fast I'm going to be dishing these uh, these uh, these videos out. But yeah, the card battling is not to that extreme, you know. That's not why I like it. I just like it because it's just, you know, it's just fun. You know, uh, they don't take too long. They require like yeah a little bit about a strategy but i feel that it's more of like a puzzle game the fact that the ai always have the same let's see if i can talk to this guy Ugh. the fact that the ai always have the kind the same deck the same kind of hand and everything it's more of like a puzzle game so if any of you guys have played any of the Yu-Gi-Oh games so like i think the newest one on the console is Yu -Gi -Oh! Duel, uh, Legacy. Legacy Duelist or something. Um, they've got something. Actually, I don't know if they do. But usually in Yu Gi Oh games, anyways, they have something called challenge mode. And what it is, is like they create a certain scenario and they say, you know, win in this turn. And obviously, this game isn't exactly like that. No, he doesn't want that. Um, but that's just the kind of impression I get because even if you fail a duel, you will be able to set up your deck to help you next time you know and it's just about building the decks and i quite like i don't know i'm i'm into tcg and, and stuff like that and i guess if you're not really into kind of card games and stuff you'll just listen to me and just like nah bro <laughs> nah bro i don't understand what you mean but 
yeah, that's just me. I mean, of obviously, I enjoy the game itself as well. So I love the, um, you know, the leveling and the di the Digimon. I love, you know, getting a new team and and I like the story in the game. Uh, to be fair, I just really like this game. This is definitely one of my favorites from um, from my childhood. So, but yeah, I didn't mean to to just go off on one. But what my point is, wow, Red Vegemon gives you 45 experience. Didn't know that. Um, my point, the point I'm trying to make here, is that we're gonna have two options. We're gonna obviously find a way to get to the west sector. You gonna battle me now? Nope. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, we're gonna find a way to get to the west sector, and then we're gonna we can either come back and do the Jewelist Kingdom, or we can obviously explore a bit of the west sector. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do for time so I'm not sure how quick it's going to be to do all of this but if we don't do the Jewel Kingdom today in this video we'll most likely do it in the next video um, I'm probably looking at the time hmm, I might record two two parts today I'll see I'll see how it feels it's been it's kind of late for me at the moment um, no one wants to fight me uh, what about you, you groupie? No, no. Yeah, it's kind of late for me at the moment. Um, due to my work schedule and stuff, I'm only really able to kind of record and stuff quite late at night. Um, so about like 10 o'clock and stuff, which mean, which is why sometimes I might, I probably sound a bit groggy in my voice and stuff. So, so I do apologise. But um, it's the only time, you know. I'm working throughout the day. And on, on sometimes when I'm not working, uh, I have to obviously look after my little one. So it's just balancing that time really. Uh, there's certain days that I am freer, but recently because of Easter and stuff. Oh, why am I coming through here? Do I need to come here? No, we don't. <laughs> Make your way to Suzaku. Uh, the, is it Suzaku City? Uh, yeah, so because of Easter and stuff, I just haven't, you know, haven't been around during the day mainly. Um, but yeah, usually on Fridays, I probably have, I, I usually have a bit more time to, to either record or chill or just do my own thing. But uh, this Friday, well actually, this Thursday, so tomorrow, today is Wednesday, day of recording, oh, we learn more attack. So Mortal Attack is actually Grismon's um, signature move. But it's actually a weird one. It's like it sets up for you so you can counter, counter attack. But I don't know how effective it really is. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep leveling him up until he learns the ability to load hammer rush. In case you guys didn't know. Yeah, so yeah, so it's Wednesday and tomorrow Thursday is when Avengers Endgame comes out. So my Friday is going to be taken up of watching that. I did, how many times have I done this? Yeah, so my Friday's going to be taken up watching that. Uh, because the, it, the film's three hours long. <laughs> three hours long, guys. Um, but I'm excited for it. Hopefully you guys are excited for it as well. But by the time, again, by the time this is out, uh, I'm pretty sure most of you, or those of you who are into it anyways, would have seen it. Um, I'm avoiding most social media and stuff, because I know, you know, idiots like to put spoilers and those who know me know that I absolutely hate hate spoilers I like watching stuff fresh um, experiencing it fresh it's even to the point where I don't like watching um, trailers literally even for Endgame I think I've seen like one trailer for it but they like released one recently I think that has a bit more like action and stuff in the trailer and I haven't I didn't watch it just because I just don't like spoilers man you know um, it's just it's so much better ever since well it's not ever since but there was this one time i don't know if you guys have seen it I'm, I'm trying to think what the film's called i think it's southpaw um southpaw and in the trailer of southpaw spoilers by the way if none of you have seen southpaw even though it's an old film you guys might want to watch it um and in the actual trailer right you so quick thing so Southpaw is like about this boxer and you know he struggles through a certain event that happens and in the trailer 
his wife dies. Now, the the death of the wife actually occurs like at the pretty much at the beginning of the game, I mean the game uh, beginning of the film. But the scene where she dies was done so well, and I was lucky enough to not watch that trailer. So when I saw the death of his wife. It, it hit me hard because you know you didn't expect it. You could see the emotion on his face. It, it was just really well done that scene, and that's what actually triggered all the events for the Southpaw film. And I went into that film pretty much completely blind, right? I didn't know what it was about, what was going to happen, and that just I really really enjoyed that film. But then there were other people who had seen the trailer, and it just it wasn't as effective because they knew the wife was going to die and they knew. You know, all these things were going to happen. And it's just, spoilers are not good, man. But yeah, <laughs> that was my point. Just be careful, spoilers. But um, anyways, what we need to do, guys, we need to go to this area here. And you'll find this lady here. You need to talk to her. And uh, this is Nami. And she'll say, I'm looking, I was looking for a cat in Bio Swamp. Behind the shrine, I saw the crest of reliability. I wonder why it was there. Before we go, uh... Actually, nah, we will just go this way. Um, and Bio Swamp is an area that we haven't actually been to yet. Uh, we could have been, but I just didn't go because there was no point. But you gotta go back on yourself. And we're here. <clears throat> but yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so Avengers. So I'm looking forward to Avengers. I haven't really seen any spoilers for it. Obviously, there's fan theories and stuff, but I haven't really, you know. Uh, my friends have theories. Sometimes I don't even like hearing them because I know they they read stuff online and they get it spoiled and they 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 mark it off as it's their own theory but really and truly they just read uh, oh this is a leap <laughs> uh, but we're gonna my point i'm trying to make as we're i'm gonna be watching that on friday um so i am excited for that should be cool and then on saturday i have a uh black clover tournament hopefully Hopefully there's enough teams. Um, and yeah, so this, this weekend's going to be kind of busy. Um, Inferior should... Uh, where am I? Oh, Inferior should probably get on some Black Clover and do some training. I mean, I might do that today. I'll see see how I feel. Um, but otherwise, most of the time I'm able to spend in the evening here is I've been playing this game because it's a long game. It's a very long game and I'm trying to be as consistent as I can with the uploads. Um, I want to at least upload. I want to try do once a day. Maybe get a break in between. I'm not sure. But my goal is going to be to complete it. Um, I was talking with uh, Wolfie and um, Mr. Wolfie, sorry. And a few of the other members of his chat in the stream earlier. And, you know, we was talking about uploading and difficulties of uploading and I was talking about my hackers memory playthrough from last year which you can actually still find in the channel but well you won't find much of it because I've literally only op like only uploaded a few of them at the beginning of it and it was just because I wasn't I need to go down here by the way guys um it's just because I wasn't I don't know I wasn't consistent enough I got I guess maybe a mixture of laziness and just not organizing myself and whatnot and it just meant that I wasn't able to consistently upload. Um, I wasn't able to record. Because obviously f for my setup, right. Um, as some of you guys may know. I've got obviously I've got a little three year old in the house and stuff. So I can't just record whenever. Unless I want to have like a. Or some random twinkle twinkle little star in the background or something. Um, so I have to have the, the right time to upload. And it's just, it's just tricky. And then because it didn't work out for me. I ended up just kind of falling behind, uh, but I really wanted to play the game, but I couldn't play the game unless I recorded, and eventually I just ended up playing the game, and yeah, <laughs> and that's why, so I do apologise if there were, because there were actually, there was a few people that was following along with the Hacker's Memory playthrough, and if you guys are still here, then obviously I'm sorry for not uh, finishing that playthrough. I did finish the game though, and I did come out with some uh post game tips and stuff for some of the quests but um i still need to do the league 
the the master the master cup and i need to show you guys how to beat that on hard difficulty because looking online is to be fair i don't think i've found any video showing how to beat the master cup on hard difficulty i mean i have seen some master cups but they're all on like normal or easy or whatever um and we all know that you know we're hardcore here so we're only gonna beat the game on hard and if there is anyone who's trying to beat the game on hard then maybe a video can help them out so um i have actually done it already but i just didn't record it because i was testing teams and stuff and i managed to do it <clears throat> so i just need to kind of get it on video i was thinking either to live stream it just because it's easier for me i mean wolfie was uh, sorry i keep on mentioning that stream but we just had kind of a, like a long chat during my lunch today and we was talking about um how it's easier to stream uh, just because you know you, you, f you flick on the stream and you know you finish the stream at the end and that's basically it you got to do a few background stuff but then that's it but these recordings you got to kind of go through it edit it you know takes a bit longer a bit more stressful <clears throat> render it all of that stuff whereas the stream just kind of flies up there and especially me because of my <clears throat> something in my throat my like low quality streams i guess is because you know i just do it straight from the ps4 so it's no work from me at all i literally click the share button and boom um so i don't know yet i need to decide but anyways back to digimon world 3 i've spent so much time talking rubbish um to get the digi echo of sincerity you need to go over here and you need to go back here and press x and you say there it is the symbol of sincerity then is the digi echo of sincerity in here but oh shit i forgot i had to do this quest damn <laughs> but how am i supposed to break down the wall hmm maybe sepikmon can help me oh man well i, I guess this pretty much <laughs> Pretty much confirms that I most likely won't be going, uh, actually, 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 maybe. So, anyways, that's where you get the egg, right? But to get the egg, it's inside the shrine. But, unfortunately, there's no door to the shrine. So we need to blow up the shrine. And instead of asking, you know, Graumon or Grismon to just blow it up, we, we have to go and talk to Sepikmon, who's going to tell us to go and we need the... Uh, basically we need to make a bomb basically and if you remember way way back when this playthrough started i told you guys to make sure you grab a tnt bomb from um triceramon it's because of this quest and it will just it just saves it'll save a bit of time you won't need to backtrack to go look for wow, man my orientation so bad today you won't need to backtrack to look for the tnt bomb because you would already have it so that's why that's why I told you guys to go for that TNT, or if you can, grab that TNT bomb. I think we actually grabbed a few of them, so we were quite lucky. But either way, we have to go through this now, so we got to suck it up. Alright, awesome. <laughs> you see, we just walk through the door. It's like, you know, he just goes, uh, yeah, ask my friend Baron one about bombs. Yep, Baron one's good at making bombs. <laughs> Is he now? Hmm. Suspicious. Digimon. You gotta be careful, man. You're treading on thin ice. If you guys see Baramon, you'll understand. We can actually run into Baramon. I believe he's gonna be an enemy inside the, the ruins. So that's gonna be cool. Uh, uh, uh. We also need to keep an eye out for... Um, I think they're gonna be available in the next sector anyways, but we need to keep an eye out for the... The DRI people, the people that give us the quests. Just because, like I said, to complete the game, we're going to need pretty much most Digimon partners, if not all of them. Um, because to do this kind of like final quest, you need everyone at like level 45. Just so you can craft an item. But yeah, this is way, way, way later in the game. I don't know how many parts I'm going to be doing this. I mean, right now, each episode's been about an hour. Hour, hour-ish long. And I don't know if that's too long. I'm not too sure. Um, I mean, me personally, I I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I kind of like multitask. You know, I have a show on or something. I want, and I'll be doing I don't know, the dishes. I'll be just doing other stuff. Um, and whenever like my youtubers that I watch upload like an hour 
other episode, I would actually be really happy. And I'll be quite upset when they only upload like 30 minutes. Obviously, there's certain videos where, yeah, you want 30 minutes, you don't want it to be too long. But when it's like a playthrough and, you know, you're enjoying it, you know, an hour is it's good, man. It's nice. It's nice and it just helps the time pass by if you're, you know, doing things and stuff like that. It's kind of bad, actually, because... And there's only so many times I've given like my 100%, I mean, to be fair, I lie, I do give my 100% to, to videos a few times, but there's only a few times, not that many times, that I'm giving my 100% attention to the video and not doing anything else, you know what I mean? So like, it's usually, I mean, I don't do this obviously if I'm with family and stuff, but if I'm by myself, I like throw the video up, get some food, you know, eat my lunch whatever I've got that video up uh, if I'm washing the dishes I'm a bit old school I actually quite like washing dishes just because I know it gives me a bit of time to watch a video or something <laughs> my Mrs. Wol Mrs. Wolfie cause Mrs. Fabsy is always just like you know oh you got the dishwasher you did da, 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 da. but see me as a, when I was growing up uh, we never had a dishwasher in my family home so I'm just used to washing things by hand I mean does anyone still wash things by hand I mean, isn't it just the worst feeling when you put things in a dishwasher and then when you take it out it's all it's got still got some mucky stuff and it doesn't clean everything and it just feels like and you still gotta wash it by hand anyways. So like, what is the point? <laughs> I mean don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not shitting on dishwashers. Dishwashers have a time and a place. Um and they you know, I thank them a lot when I'm when I'm super tired and you know, I'm making my way to bed and I just see the sink full of dishes and I'm like, no, but thankfully I remember that we have a dishwasher, stick it all in the dishwasher and it's fine, you know, I'm grateful for that. But, you know, I still got to remember my roots, got to remember my roots and when I, you know, when you need to, roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty, I guess, <laughs> clean or whatever, just wash them by hand, it's fine. It's relaxing, soothing. I don't even mind. I mean, it's dry ass boring if you're just doing without anything, but normally I'd just, I'd just stick something on the back. Maybe some music, if I haven't got access to any videos or something. It's fine. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, we're doing quite a lot of walking and backtracking in this episode, so that's probably why my mind's kind of wandering to places, so... <laughs> But I thought, you know, might, you know, some of you guys might be interested to know whether I prefer to wash dishes by hand or the dishwasher. Just one of those generic, you know, general topics that you normally have with your mates down the pub. Um, so I thought, you know, why not? Why not have the same type of conversations ugh, here over Digimon, you know? Whilst playing Digimon, you know, it makes sense. <laughs> But yeah, so anyways, we're here. We gotta talk to Baron Man to make a bomb. Do, 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 do. Baron Man, you can find over here. There we go. There's Baron Man. That's not the one we're looking for. I heard you like to. Should we try his uh, if attacked first counter? So does that mean if we're slow? Let's try it. Wall attack. So he's gonna attack us now. Damn, how much damage is that gonna do? 346. So we counter with maul attack. Okay. Do a little roar. Oh nice. Was that two hits or just one hit? See, it's, it's perfect. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> if attack first, count out. You know, it did less damage than what he did. So, yeah, just, just, just hit him with a hammer rush. <laughs> hey, not allowed to block it. There we go. See, a normal attack does more damage than that. I never understood how to fully use more attack. To be honest, just, just don't use it. <laughs> We still can't load Hammer Rush. <sighs> Don't use more, more attack. Hammer Rush for the win. 
I will be using other moves, guys, don't worry. <laughs> Did I see someone? Uh, what? A bomb? Oh, a TNT chip. Sorry, I don't have all the ingredients. If I had a TNT ball, I could make it in a jiffy. Well, I've got one, bruh. Oh, you got a TNT ball. Wait a sec. Snip, snip, cut, cut. Ta-da. It's now a perfect Baron 1 TNT chip. Well, good luck. I'll be rooting for you. Why are you going to be rooting for me? I can see. I can see the future. You'll be saving the world. There we go, guys. Bit of, uh, you know foreshadowing bit of spoilers spoilers there guys that's right we are going to be saving the world but now that we have this TNT chip we can head on back to that place to the, the shrine and we should be able to blow a hole in the wall I really just want to Chris one's ass has been in my face for too long in this series, I just want to hurry up, load that technique, and get him out of here. <laughs> I mean, he's done well, you know. He's worked hard, but sometimes, sometimes we need to change. All right, let's go. Oh, I can never get this first try. It's like diagonal down here, then round here. Then once you get here, you go around all the way here. Yep, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I was watching a um, Digimon World 2003, or Digimon World 3, I guess, speed run the other day. It's quite a few of them. One guy done, one guy, what was it, it was like V Shadow or something, some Ricky guy, and they're just able to just go through that so, so quickly. <laughs> so quickly. To be fair, they, they do well though, they beat the game, because like, you know, they just basically use one Digimon the whole game, which is... Obviously, it's doable. It is doable, but yeah. It's not as fun, is it? It's not as fun. <laughs> you want to raise everybody. Oh, I just got a message from one of my friends. He's like, just found out big things about Game of Thrones. See? This links up to what I was saying earlier in the video. Yeah? Spoilers. Why? Why do it? By the way, who's watching Game of Thrones? Because that shit is good, man. I know some people are not really interested. They're reading the books. And you know what? Kudos to you, man. Kudos to you. But I haven't been able to... Well, I haven't been able I didn't read the books. And I've only known the series um, through its video or film adaptations or whatever. And yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. And we're watching season 8 now, which is obviously the finale. And, um, and, you know, spoilers, again, if you don't want to know about Game of Thrones, skip ahead. <laughs> um, but they're obviously preparing for the Battle of Winterfell. And they're all there, and everyone's kind of having their, their key moments. And they're being really smart about it, because they're, you know, everyone's kind of having, like, a touching moment, right? Which could signify that. They could die. Anyone, no one's safe. Everyone can die. You know, um, the only one that's 100% dying is going to be Grey Worm because everyone knows the rules. Okay, if you start talking about something that you want to do in the future, you is dead, right? And he broke that rule. Okay, he started talking to his uh, his new lady friend. I can't remember her name. The translator for Daenerys, and um, and he's just like yes. You know, why don't we live together and have a family and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, that's all cool and sweet, man. I do feel for him. But, man, that, that, those sentences and those words, he basically just signed his, uh, his own death warrant, man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and, you know, my friend is just messaging me saying he knows big, big news. And I'm just like, I'm just thinking, dude, like, what are you doing? You know, wh why are you doing this? Just, just, let's, let's just watch it. Let's just watch it and... And enjoy, enjoy it when it when it happens. The emotion, the sadness, the excitement, the shock. Let it all happen whilst you're viewing it. Get it be engrossed, okay? Immersed in the Game of Thrones atmosphere, Game of Thrones world. That's you know, that's how the writers and the, the directors they want wanted you to feel. You know, that's how I want you to feel. I want you to feel like you're here with me. Next to my, next to me on my sofa, just chilling, 
and watching me play this or I don't know or just you know you're playing it yourself whatever we got a drink in one hand we've got a couple of bitches all around us <laughs> oh, <no. Okay. laughs> just picture it guys picture it and that's what it's like to be you know total immersion you guys you do feel immersed right now you know half an hour into the video and all we've done is ran backwards and forwards in this map talking absolute shite <laughs> oh dear but you know what that's what a lot of this game is about as you guys know um and you gotta remember we're, we're gonna be unlocking more sectors <laughs> Um, I don't think it's going to be as bad as, you know, <laughs> go all the way back to Asuka City and come all the way back here. In fact, it probably will be, but it's not going to be as bad as now. Because the only method we have now is obviously walking. Whereas, what we, like, we're about to get the, the swimming method, or I guess the surf, if you will, of the game. Um, so, a few shortcuts will open up for us. So, we'll be able to get from, you know, we'll easily be able to get from, you know, uh, west to a super city quickly and, and whatnot uh, but I'll tell you what though I do not remember <laughs> I do not remember all of the routes so I will probably be trying them out seeing where they go because sometimes they actually lead to dead ends and they have items and stuff so I mean this map's quite big if you think about it you know if you take into consideration that there's sea and stuff and Something else that we'll find out later, which I'm not going to spoil now. But basically, let's just say there's another mode of transport. Transportation. Um, which adds even an extra layer to the, to the world. But yeah, I like this one. <sighs> Stop battling. Oh dear. Oh dear. Just going to miss this. Why are people messaging me, man? And I'm not recording. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to finish the fish. Uh, let's go and fight Cardmon then. <laughs> Whilst we're here. Might as well carry on boosting our packs. I think you drop. Which one do you drop? You drop 2B, right? Oh, 2B is good actually. Because I think that has a chance to drop the the ground one and the Devon one. 60. To be, yeah. So fingers crossed. <laughs> oh. Oh look. Okay, so I placed the TNT chip over there. Ooh. Better get it out of there, son. There's a hole in the wall. Now we can go in. We've basically just done all the dirty work for every single player in the game. Because now there's going to be a hole in the wall for everyone. And they're going to just be able to come in here, take all the items and grab the digi egg. Well done, Junior. <laughs> hey, that's... Awesome, I got the DG Egg of Sincerity, woo! Oh, okay, the light shines. Now I can call some sub Merrimon and cross the ocean. Let's see, yeah. Okay, so now we can go to the other side. So I think that's what we'll do. We will make our way to the next sector. And the way to Cool, Submarimon is we need to I'll show you. We need to find these kind of port looking areas. Um so I'll go to one now. But I'm gonna go to the one that I think the game expects you to go to. I think. I'm not too sure actually. If they kind of instruct you which one to go to, but they expect you to go to this one in particular because I think it takes you to I guess the starting area of the next sector because obviously there's multiple ways to enter it due to the fact that we can now cross the water 
Um, let me throw Shadow. I think Q1. You've been at the front for a while now. You've grown to level 17, which I didn't expect. And can we load? We still can't load it. Ugh. Must be, must be 75. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. But we're gonna, we're gonna chuck uh, Angemon at the front. We're actually getting quite a lot of money, and I still haven't sold that item. So this money we have is not taken into the account that we have an item to sell. Ding ding. Do do do. do. Okay. Make our way through here. Do do. -do. Through this area here, they should have more things like this. Should have been something like up here. Well, actually, there is. I think eventually you have to fight a Digimon there. I think to recruit them. Can't remember which one though. Do, 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 do. What do you guys think of the music of the game? Um, I really, I really, I really like the music. I really dig the music. Um, they, I think, they've got a good mix of like ambient tunes. Which ah oh, busted. Which I think obviously Digimon World done really well. Um, and Digimon World Father and Free has I think just has some really classic tunes. Really classic songs. I really I really like the I mean I feel I'm kinda of biased and nostalgia hits me so whenever I'm kind of rating these kind of tunes and whatnot or not tunes but kind of music and stuff within the game I kind of feel a bit biased towards it just because it's got a special place in my childhood but um, but you know I listened to it today I mean not today I've listened to it like now obviously when I play the game and stuff and I still quite you know I really enjoy it, it really really sets the tone and stuff so it's really cool and I feel that a lot of games these days they miss they they lack in things like this, you know, the kind of ambient songs and like little catchy like catchy jingles and stuff. So you know they can learn a thing or two from these games, learn a thing or two, and I'm kind of excited for Digimon Survive because of it. Because you know we've only seen pretty much one soundtrack from it, but that soundtrack was really really good. And because of the nature of the game, I'm pretty sure that they will have some sort of you know these kind of ambient tunes and stuff so so I'm looking forward to that hopefully you guys are looking forward to it as well you know don't don't feel put off just because it's you know it's different I'm gonna go speak to her see what she says I really want to take one to the real world who? oh Gatama well just go to pretty much any inn any inn in the in the area <laughs> In the whole world, in the whole Digimon Online, and just taken. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, no. So Digimon's five. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, we I think we're gonna get some news in probably in, over the next few months. Um, I think in is it June or something? They're meant to release. They're meant to release uh, some news. They promised us big news in the next um, issue of V Jump and stuff like that. Uh, but they didn't. I don't think they necessarily said it was survive. They just said it was going to be big Digimon news. Um, they're releasing a, I believe it's a 20, 20 year anniversary anime, or they're basically not an anime, but another kind of film, sort of like a, a continuation from Try or something. I don't know if it's a continuation from Try, but it's another adventure, basically adventure film um, or, or series of films. And don't get me wrong, I am excited for that more Digimon content. Like, please. You know, give me that shit all the day. I'll lap it up. I'll lap it up. But you know, one of the main things I really enjoy about Digimon is their games. You know, there's not many Digimon games that I didn't that I did not did not like. You know, uh, by the way, these are the kind of ports. Okay, and this is where you would summon Submarimon, but we're not going to take that way. Um, I do want to explore in the water, but we're not going to do that today because I think we've done too much exploring. We gotta do, we gotta do some, you know, exploring, but with purpose. And we've come here to just, uh, you don't do anything else, right? I decline, I decline. Do do do. Let's go and sell our items. Uh, 
Bowser saying that? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> what was I saying? The cell item were... What was it? Was it a weapon or an armor? It was an armor. We get another level. Is it all 1100? I think they do change in price eventually, but... Right now, they're all 1100. Um, I don't think we can get anything else from Lisa. We haven't really needed to get items. And to be fair, the 500 hill is slowly becoming less and less redundant. So, I don't know if these guys, do they sell? Do they update? No. 21, we've got two life discs. I mean, we can afford the thing now, but we're gonna leave it for now. We're gonna leave it for now. We're gonna go and open our pick. Where are ya? We're gonna open our pick, open our booster pick. Probably should heal. Open booster, got a 1A which is gonna have junk for days. And 2B, oh yeah, so we got another summon devil one. So nothing else. But we're gonna go buy one card. Oof. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna buy one more clips undo. And we're gonna buy another two ground ones. And I'm just gonna throw them in our deck. Okay guys, and this is what our deck's gonna look like for now. Uh, not the best, but I think it'll do. Um, we've got a bit more stronger options. We've ground one now. We've got two undo uh, eclipse undo, and we've got four summoning devil one. So we are gonna be summoning devil one quite a few times. And we've got a few uh, program cards as well. That's gonna be helping us out. So when we finally do go to the Jewelist Kingdom, we will be ready. We will be ready. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, um, nothing major that we need to do here now. I don't think. But we can head to that area that we didn't go to before. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, actually, we're gonna have some team battles, aren't we? Yeah. We gotta have some team battles. Because I don't know if you remember, there was like an area after the Aether jungle that I mentioned that we can go after we beat the leader. Because I was meant to go beforehand, but I just thought, you know, let's save it. But I saved it for such a time like this. Mm -mm -mm. Should be able to air blast you to death, so we don't evade it. That jersey. Right. All right. So let's go this way. And ooh, part two. Wait a minute. Keith? How'd you get here? Hey kid, do you know about the legendary gym? If you go there, your Digimon will get really strong. If my Digimon train there, they'll be invincible. Okay. You're just following us. <laughs> oh dear. Might have to start healing up. Apemon doesn't die to one of my Mega Tornadoes. Poor Patamon. We really do need to go to the gym, don't we? Well, we're about to go to, like I said, the first kind of 20, 20 or so levels. You know, it's okay to uh, to use your TP, but I just, I just want to save it. If you can, just save it because later you're gonna you're gonna get to a certain area that. Well, you're going to find basically what that guy said. You're going to find the legendary gym. And the legendary gym is really good because... Oh, we got wind power one. There we go. That's nice. We can give that to Petamon. Which is going to be useless because he never attacks. <laughs> He's going to be too wind orientated. Like, even his attacks going to be wind. Yeah, that's cool. You know, I guess we'll have a, a themed Digimon, if you will. I don't know if I should heal here because we're injured and we might get into... A few tough battles. Uh, why not? Why not? It literally will not hurt us to heal. 
literally. Small hill should be enough. Let's see how much it does on Kim Oh, that's pretty good. I think we'll look like this. Should be alright. We want to be looking to get them to 20 soon. Very soon. Hey, <laughs> hey. I flaked out from work and logged in. Then let's Digimon battle. That way I can forget all the bad things. So Tamer Gordon, feeling a bit um, guilty, I guess. Well, it seems that these business guys are really into their water types. We're going to hit some medical tutorial needles and we're going to see how uh, how their wisdom's holding up. Obviously, uh, Crabmon's thick as shit. <laughs> Gizamon, are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? Do you know who I am? Oh. <laughs> he just like knocked right out of there. Well, that's really good for us. I don't get it, because unless... I mean, I'm guessing obviously the game's got a way to kind of... Or it automatically changes to a certain digit one. Because otherwise, you know, why would you do that? I don't know. This is the move I told us... I told you guys to be careful of when fighting the gym leader because Shogun Gekkamon can also do it and this is confusion it makes this kind of silly music kind of occur and also gives you replaces everything for all of these things um, I usually just go for the kind of anger and frustration one with the hope that he I guess attacks but obviously confusion is gonna hurt Patamon a lot because oh, look at this bastard so that was his tactic basically Get me confused and then bring out Gizamon. Uh, we're gonna dance. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be mad again. What? Come on. Evade, 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 evade. Yeah. That was uh, that was uh, Angemon dancing. Now we're gonna laugh at his face. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> He, I can literally imagine him laughing and dancing right <laughs> now let's leave <laughs> there we go can we break out of confusion now Jesus Christ he does nothing damn it please don't hurt us too much please 227 oh, fuck, how long does confusion last the thing is we can't even change we can't do nothing uh, let's cry Man, confusion is fucking broken. Like I said, all the kind of status elements in this game is is pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb. Because literally, if we take another one of those hits, we will almost be dead. Finally, we're back. What an Angemon. Jesus, look, so I guess this game... I mean, this game, this guy is programmed to do this all the time. Oh, let's see how, how it works out for you then. And was like a bostage mod for him right now. Is he, is he, what? I'm gonna slap you for the, for the disrespect. Dare you confuse me. <laughs> I feel so confused. You know, it's a common thing to be in. 2019, okay? Man, Angemon just does not give a shit. <laughs> He's just dancing and laughing. He's not even confused. <laughs> oh, he's the one tank that like a boss. That's right. That was not too bad. Pretty decent fight, to be fair. You know, he made us, uh, made us tink a little bit. Just tink, just tink. You know, no, no sweat was dropped, but it's okay. It is okay. 269 experience, damn. I think we will definitely be able to get everyone up to level 17 today. I mean, especially if we've got, I think we have at least one more battle. Yes, yes, you're free. Uh, there's another training gym here. Um, they don't do anything in particular, but they do, what it does do, is allow us to train our resistances now. 
so we can actually train uh, resistances except for machine, which we're about to unlock anyways. <laughs> well, the thing is, this this training gym is meant to be for the second island, but yeah, you can only really access it here. But I think it might have changed the first gym as well, to be honest. So I think in the first gym, you can also train... Oh, here's some mirror one, by the way. Um, train uh, your elemental resistances. You just won't be able to do darkness, I think. So this one's the first one you can do darkness in. Okay, so this is submarine one, or submarine one, whatever. Um, and this is the kind of swimming mini game out of it. Uh, you press triangle to kind of float downwards and forwards. Then if you need to stop or go up, you uh, let go of triangle. So it's a bit weird, but you know, I dig it. It's all good. And then yeah, so and then another thing, yeah, you got these. Oh, it's like inverted. Ugh. And you can get into battles down here too. And these battles can be pretty tough. Oh, Dolphin Man. Are you ready for Dolphin Man? I don't know if we're ready for it. Let's hope we are. Oof. Damn, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Divine Rain? Oh, no. Please, 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 please. I mean, it's pretty good. Compared to what we was getting before. Let's see how this does. At least half. Oh, nice. That's not bad. Well done. Well done, Anjumon. Didn't expect that much damage. Could have been a crit now. <laughs> uh, let's just carry on. I know eventually MP runs a bit dry, but we want to carry on uh, with the assertance of our dominance. 90 experience, so from Dolphin one down. And 200 bits. Dolphin Mum, he's a pro, man. He is a pro. Okay, we're gonna let this, uh, let this go up. And then go back down. Oops. I used to be so good at kind of riding this. <laughs> That's what she said. Never. No one. Oh no, Dolphin Mum ambushed us. This is gonna do more damage. Please survive. 122. That's okay. Um, we tag someone in. Let's tag in Metal Magnum for now. Da -doom. Come pick on me, you weird mammal creature. 222 spree. Let's go mail attack. <coughs> Alright. Sorry about that guys. Alright, so yeah, so he's down, we're gonna carry on our path here. Still pretty good experience for each one. So 50, what was that 55, 56? 5. Alright, so we're gonna head on here. So like I said, I think this is the kind of designed area that the game thought you would take just because it's naturally at the end of um, the south sector so you would naturally go there but there are other ports so any kind of square shaped platform that's out in the middle of the water that is most likely a port where you where you can summon a submarine what Submarimon does is he takes, um, he just, you know, you travel to a certain location and you got to look for like this sort of like skull and bones on the floor and that's where you can, you can go back to the surface. Oh, if we mess this up, we could lose, we could die. That was heart in mouth moment. Can we just get through, please? We just want to go in peace. We don't even want to fight. 
yeah so this is how you kind of get up you have to go to this kind of skull and bones and then you shoot straight up and boom south badlands we have brand new music all exciting stuff guys all exciting things straight away get to battle and it's Atomon and we're low health oh dear this could be bad can't remember how strong these guys are <laughs> I mean is this our first wild Digimon uh, wild ultimate Digimon oh what was that move called he had a move like that in the anime I can't remember damn he hits hard I don't think this is this is gonna be a rough area guys I'm not gonna lie oof don't do that, don't do that, bro. Don't do that. Block. If you hit for 200 again, I'm doing. I can take one more. Just want to see where, where we stand here. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Block. Oh, shit. Does that, what does that do? Does that poison you as well? Might have to swap out Angemon here. Grismon. We're gonna allow you to come back in, bro. Allow you to come back in and clean this shit up. Block this. No. Never mind. 251, so we're taking less damage from that. Let's just hammer rush his face. Come on. Two hits though. Gone down to red. See, literally, if that last hit hit, we would have been fine. We just need a bit more damage output from Angemon, man. It's not putting enough damage in. But these guys are strong, though. Going up to level 17. Nice. We finally learned Angemon. Amazing. Amazing. But do we want to load Mega Tornado? Or is that going to take too long? Hmm. We'll keep, um... We'll keep... Let's heal up. <laughs> we'll keep Angemon at the front for now. I think he's he's been doing well, to be honest. Do you know what? I don't know if there's any item in this game that heals, um... That heals MP. Could be wrong. Might as well just get one back up. Could be wrong, but I can't remember there being... I mean, oh wait, I lie. Obviously there's life plug and stuff that does half HP, half MP. But, you know. I think there's items and stuff here. But right now we don't want items. We just want to be out of here. There's Nick. we got to go talk to Nick. We've seen him now. Damn it. Hey Nick, talk to me. The, this west sector is suspicious. It's you again. Please don't get in my way. So we really we don't actually know much about Nick. Well, we actually don't know anything about Nick. <laughs> so it'll be useful to to find out a little bit more about him. Here's Ogamon. We fought some one Ogamon before. One Tamers had you. It was Gamer Lucia. Yeah, I knew your wisdom will be united. And we're able to block that as well. Damn. Angemon's still trying to fight for his route on the team. Do want to get Angemon as soon as I can out here. Yeah, 102. Man, this place we're gonna be we're gonna be leveling up quick time. But it's definitely we are definitely gonna need to get to ultimate form. Uh, the battles are gonna be much more demanding now. So yeah, yeah things are gonna get things are gonna get spicy. Uh, it's a gym over here, not over here, but in that direction. But we're not gonna go to that just yet. Right now, I just want to get to somewhere to save it and to rest up because we've been traveling quite a lot. Got noise desert here. 
can't remember what's in this noise does it actually I, I generally don't I feel like I've missed a missed an area oh shit <laughs> I don't remember why is this noise why why am I here? I need to go back. Mega tornado, you don't stand a chance. Come on. Ooh, nice. Give me some XP. 105 XP for that fight. Damn. That was glorious. That was absolutely glorious. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, is it down here? Am I going? Am I going the right way? Where does this lead me to? Nice. This is where I wanted to go. Cool, cool, cool. So we did. We didn't actually go to the area I thought we were gonna go. Finally, got him. 44 bits though. It's okay. It's okay. The area we're in, by the way, this was when I was a kid. This was my grinding spot we did here. And because we had our fishing spot here. And then you're able to rest if you if you got too hurt. And then if you ran out of fishes, you just reset the area and you come back in. I don't think there was any random encounters here. But it was really good because you, know, you can run into... Can obviously run into cardmon here. Um, do we want to use? Yeah. Okay. Ugh. And also we can run into um, dolphin. Dolphin mon. He's the kind of regular area. Regular area. Regular regular enemy in this area. The thing about fishing, right? You know when you press X, because that's how you stop the kind of little thing that keeps moving around press x but the the x just kind of has like a mind of its own like for example there i pressed it ages ago and it still carried on going and moved and bounced back and went back onto the green um but then there's other times where i would press it and you know it would like instantly stop i was like yo <laughs> i know i told you to stop there but you didn't stop there last time what the hell man <laughs> Oh, I don't wonder. Why did my head have fought? It was going to be more damage. Well, we can take 101. We can take that. Oh, what the hell? Didn't you block my mega tornado last time? Jesus Christ. Dolphin. Or dolphin. Whatever. If you're able to just two shot this guy with anyone, guys, you know, honest. Oh. Just die, Dolphmon. Still gonna call him Dolphmon, I don't care. Oh, he's doing so much damage as well. Oh, just eat this. What the? It's a joke. Three. Three blocks in a row. What are the odds? Oh. Man, you're just delaying the inevitable, you fool. Okay, you are going to die. I'm gonna go and make a divine rain of your blood. <laughs> it's on the dark. Don't get up. Good. It's the least they could do. <laughs> Give me that crit. Get to level 60 boy once we get to level 60 i think when i get to level 60 i'll probably learn my final move um i wouldn't load my technique i'm gonna learn the final move which is you know it's okay Ooh, so i feel like it's gonna be a stronger card one if that's the case i feel Andromon might not have a chance but we'll have a look mega tornado please do lots of damage That's not bad. That is not too bad. 
I think we can finish him in um, in two hits. I mean, in two hits, in four hits. But he hits like a motherfucker. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh. Sure, we're going for the win, to be honest. Sorry, Andrew, I might, might need to use you as bait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, oh, no. Our first attack was a crit. <laughs> Are we dead? Yeah. We're dead. Come on, Grismon. If we've ever needed you, this is the time. This is the time we need you, boy. You gotta come clutch. Use something you've never used before. Hammer Is that it? Is that GG's? Nice. Hundred and thirty-five. And we got five B. Nice. It's an upgrade. It's an upgrade to four B. So that's pretty good. Wonder if there's some trees here. Do mm. do. Let's just let's heal up. Use an MP, real quick. I know I probably could have. Ready healed up with Gatamon, but I'm like, I'm you know, I'm anal like that. <laughs> hey, I didn't say I like that anal, I said I'm anal like that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Is there any trees here? Because if there's trees, we can try out card mark. Oh, look who it is. It's Lisa. Hi, Fabzi. Why am I here? That's a secret. Women always have secrets. Oh, good god. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Hey. How'd you get there? <laughs> That's gonna annoy me. We're gonna keep on walking by there and we're never gonna get that item. Oh, man. There's no trees to kick over there. I kind of want to fight the cardmon in this area now. Oh, look who it is. It's Red Gaburimon. Let's make a tornado his ass. Wow, everyone's too fast in this goddamn area. <laughs> Whoa! All right, I'm gonna risk it. That was that was a crit. No way. Did he just do 500 damage? No way. And he caught up after that. And he only did. Oh wow. Okay, I think I need to uh, switch you out. <laughs> Angemon is struggling. Struggling. <laughs> we might have to do some grinding, guys, off camera. Get out of S. Ooh, is that the time? Oh my god, this guy hits hard, boy. Man, well done. You must have some high attack. But hopefully, this finishes you off. Jesus. High attack, low defense. I guess he maybe had high wisdom and stuff. I don't know. We learned Hand of Fate. And Grismon learned how to kick his ass. See how we're getting like 200 bits per fight now. Uh, oh, there's an item. Let's go play it. Really? Power charge? Why? This stage the game. At least, at least use supercharges. You know, we need to start getting those. Oh no, not you! I want to use my hand of fate. You're gonna kill me in one hit. Punch the enemy with wind attacks. Oh, that's gonna do like no damage. Uh, let's get Metal Man in one. See how he does against this guy. I mean, who's got a highest defense? Sakuma? No! It's Metal Mami Man with his epic, epic evades. 
don't know why they call it evade, they should say block, you know. I mean, they, they literally, they literally block it in every, in every way. <laughs> that is a block. Maybe they should incorporate blocks in evades, but hey, whatever. Who am I? I'm not a game designer. Mine's only two, nice, man. Right, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. I think when we come back uh, next episode, which will probably be tomorrow now, because I'm feeling a bit tired, um, we will we will go through we'll go through this area a bit, explore a bit, and then I think I'm going to tackle the Jewelist Kingdom. Not Jewelist Kingdom, but you know the kind of jewel island if you will not too sure yet we'll see how it goes um but yeah so we've got a lot of things to do might do some grinding as well so guys uh thank you very much for watching um it's been really cool upload um recording these and uploading them and making the thum thumbnails for them and stuff and it's, it's just it's been really really enjoyable and i really appreciate you know, you guys who take your time out of your day to, you know, watch it and and comment and like and subscribe. It honestly means a lot to me. So, you know, uh, give me any feedback you feel towards the game, stuff you want to see about the game. Just, just let me know. And um, I'm sorry if the the pacing is a bit slow and stuff. I'm, I promise you, it will start picking up, um, pretty much from here on out or after the next episode and stuff. So. Guys, yeah, make sure you leave a like if you liked it. And, yeah, just look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. You know, take care. Peace out. Bye. Shine is on my diamond. Shine is on my diamond.